Shalom, shalom, beloved. Hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. You know, I ran across this article on my news feed, and I'm going to share this information with you. You know, it may be information that you have already heard, and for those that have not heard this information, you know, you can do the research on your own. And uh, I have this information to, to, to not only encourage you, encourage you and, and help inform you, you know, of what's really going on behind the scenes, but uh, you know, hopefully this information, again, it's it, 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 it gives you the, the, the mindset that again, you know that the Most High is working behind the scenes and using different different um, entities to protect people from from the adversary, from the powers that be. Okay, this article comes from. Um, BBC News, and it's U.S. court blocks Biden's vaccine mandate for companies, all right? A U.S. appeal court has temporarily blocked Biden's, President Joe Biden's plans for a vaccine mandate for businesses. The law would require workers at private companies with more than 100 employees to get fully vaccinated against the COVID-19 or be tested weekly. But the courts found grave statutory and constitutional issues with the rule set to be introduced in January. I think January 4th of next year, this bill or this mandate was going to be pushed uh, fully, right? Let's read further. It said it was, was suspending the mandate and gave the Biden administration until Monday to respond. Five Republican state, five Republican led state, states, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Utah, as well as private companies and religious groups uh, had filed legal challenges against the mandate. Okay. Let me, let me break that part down for you for just a little bit. See, what these people are telling you is when they, when they looked at not only the Constitution, you know, dealing with people's religious views of, uh, 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 or um, practices, there were certain things that government could not interfere with. And the, your rights was granted by your creator, not by government. See, man created government, not government created man. You know what I'm saying? So the most high created man. So the most high is the one that has the rights, not man. And what's happening is your rights are being trampled on in exchange for privileges and benefits. So these people are, are following, filing suit against these people, you know, to stop this so-called mandate. But anyway, let's read further. They accused the president of overstepping his authority, which, which he did, according to these people's own constitution, right? The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that's endowed to you by your creator, not by government. Government doesn't give you rights, like I said. Government is supposed to protect the rights that's endowed by your creator, that's given to you by the creator. But anyway, um, if enforced, the ruling by the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeal would be a blow to the Biden administration sweeping measures to extend vaccinations. Mr. Biden says the, the mandate, which would cover more than two-thirds of the nation's workers, would set a, nation, would set a national standard of safety at work. You people don't care nothing about your safety, because if they if they was if they was really concerned about your safety, number one, they would have all these other experts on the opposite side of said vaccine. They would let them speak and put their data out there, put their information out there. But what it is really about control. That's why they push uh, this 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 one-sided narrative. You know what I'm saying? And, and intimidating people. Again, I'm not telling you to take the vaccine or not. I'm not here to tell you whether to believe that this said virus is 
is as dangerous as they say it is or not. I'm not here to tell you that. But what's odd is even the so-called experts will tell you that the, the catching the virus has a, like a 99.4, 99.5 survival rate, depending on your age and your health, and stuff like that. And again, like I did the video before, it's weird to see these people talk about pre-existing conditions when you take the vaccine and you die. And then when it comes down to you have pre-existing pre conditions and you catch the so-called virus and die. You see how they, how they, how all the information is obscured. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can see there's an agenda, but again, when you talk about these things, you're either you're a kook or you're a conspiracy theorist or have you. And again, it's, it's at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's really about divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? The, the vaccinated against the unvaccinated and stuff like that. And just how these people uh, gain power. They divide the men from the women, the old from the young. They divide people amongst skin color. They divide people amongst so many different variables. Again, so you people are just always at odds while the government or the elected officials or the powers that be push their agenda. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I just want to make this little short video on this and family and hopefully, again, it's information that for those that may be interested, you can go through your own research, you know, and it may, and it, it may be something that may help, help encourage people that have lost their jobs or been laid off, <laughs> you know, during this pandemic, you know what I'm saying, during this said pandemic. Because again, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're suffering with, you know, how to pay their bills and stuff like now, stuff like that now, you know, where, you know, where they're gonna live at, things of that nature. So if it's really about caring for the people and, and, and you know, the safety of the people, they will sit down and, and, and have, have a, a, an open discussion and really look at all the data and put it out there for, for the people to make a, a decision for themselves and that's gonna benefit them and their families. You know, so anyway, family, that's my take on it. With that being said, as usual, peace, love, shalom.